good. Made it this place by the Arabs for storing the slaves who are awaiting the next auction day. This one came to be for women and children with an average of 75 of them. 75? 75. 75. Women plus kids. Okay. Women plus kids who were lying down here on top of each other. No enough ventilation. Some of them died here from suffocation. They didn't have enough food to eat. Some of them were starving here. And then down here, there was water coming from outside. And then they used down here as a toilet. We came in by walking. But by that time, the slaves were not walking in. Remember that this is underground chamber. So that to get in, came to be dropping in. And then to get out, somebody asked to put you outside. They were kept here for one day, two days, or three days, depending on when you arrive and then when is the next auction day. So that for this chamber plus the next one, the entrance came to be at the top in the middle, is where the slaves are dropping in and then getting out by getting pulled out by someone. So now I can see the condition on how far those slaves are treated around here. But as we came to understand from the beginning, they were taken from outside, not Christians, not Muslims, so that for them to the Arabs, we are totally nothing. End of the day, they came to be treated, okay? Like the way we can see around here. So what happens after the auction? They're taken away. Very good. After the auctioning, the man who cried out, as I spoke to you, left here to the spices, stayed here to the spices. And for those who did not cry, we are supplied to the French colonies. I spoke to you that the women, some made by the slave masters, some taken to the Middle East to be used as domestic workers, and then the children taken, given as, as a gift, sometimes given as a discount to somebody who can't complain about the business. So that the business was conducted here from 1800 to 17, 1873, and then continued illegally <gasps> by making Arabs use caves and chambers away from here making it continue until around 1909 when it came to stop but uh, anyway we have been speaking about forgive and forget okay uh, some people are buzzing it i think but yes. remember that by that time we africans we had nothing to say about the white ones it can be different like the way it is today understand <clears throat> at that time towards the white ones are for everything <coughs> they can do everything for us. They can say something and accept it. But for this time, we are different. So try to balance that time and then this time and compare what happened and what can be happening today. And again, remember that what happened here. The way that God gonna deal with it. Sorry? God ain't for no so. Yes. And again, remember that what happened here is something different somehow from what happened to the West African. Understand? People who brought here from outside came from different tribes. We are speaking different tribal languages. It was difficult for them to communicate to each other, to unite, or maybe to make rebellions. End of the day, Arabs made it very much advantage to them. Well, I guess my, my point would be drawn. My point is that the, the fact that we allow okay. us to be um, separated is what the biggest problem is. Okay. We, if, if one man is, is, is enslaved, all of us are enslaved. So it don't matter what tribe you came okay. from. Okay, yeah, yes. So, so, right. so we have to really deal with it. I'm dealing with it from my actual facts, mm. from where what God is saying. If, if, if God is forgiven mm. from that aspect, mm. then that's where I'm at. God ain't forgiven, and this world is going to be destroyed because of what happened okay. to their people. Okay. So I just, I mean, we can agree to disagree, but, you know, it's not, you know, even from the aspect of when slavery started, it wasn't 1916, it wasn't, it was 1555, and there were, there were 64 years that it took for them to break us and turn us into what they call us now as niggas. So I'm not dealing with all that foolishness. We got to deal with the actual facts of it. 
And mm-hmm. like I said, I yeah. respect yeah. you yeah. from yeah. where you, if that's where you are, mm-hmm. that's cool. But we really have to be realistic from a God standpoint because if that was the case, prophecy speaks of what's going to happen and what is actually going on now. Yes. So, you know, that's what we are with it. But I got you. Agree. Okay, okay, great. Uh, let's go outside now, okay? To the slave exhibition. Okay. You, we let you go because you yes, know where you please, are. We okay. don't, we don't want to Okay, come this way. Okay, Pole Pole, we are coming, please. Straight outside, mind your heads, okay? Watch on steps. Okay, keep left side, we go straight outside now, okay? Keep left. We go outside. Another one, yes, for men, 50 men. But for now, we go this way, yes. The same, similar to this one. But the small one, yes. Maybe then come this way. The mission of Hospital UMCA is University Mission to Central that is horrific. That's horrific. Mm. See that? It really is. So that's a painful history of our struggles, family. So we're still here at the East African Holocaust. Exhibition. Yes. I would make all the white people come to these places to pay a tribute. The two and three for blacks. The white people gotta pay a tribute. A tribute? Yeah. Why we stop paying and they don't? 